It started as an all-night music rave attended by thousands of young Israelis. But at sunrise on October 7th, it turned into a massacre as dozens of Hamas gunmen, some flying in on hang gliders, attacked the rave, trying to kill as many Israelis as possible. Those who survived and were not taken hostage are traumatized. I really felt they're like, that's it, this is our end, because there were both missiles and terrorists in every direction. There was no way to escape because there was a traffic jam, a long line of cars. We were trapped inside the car. I was extremely stressed. I didn't know how to deal with the situation. She and her friend Ido Vaknin are among the more than 2,000 young Israelis coming to seek comfort and healing at Ronit Farm. This upscale wedding venue near the coastal city of Herzliya has been transformed into a therapy center for survivors of the Supernova Music Festival massacre. Gal says that Vaknin saved her life. A former Special Forces soldier, he drove around the festival site for more than an hour looking for ways to avoid the Hamas militants. Vaknin says he knows at least 30 people who were killed and others who were kidnapped. I made a U-turn, drove in a different direction, and there were another 10 terrorists and another 100 Israelis running and falling down in front of our eyes. We thought they were falling because they were tired from running until I opened the window and heard the whistle of bullets flying and realized that the bullets were all around us. I saw people I know from my childhood and I stopped to take them into my car. How could I not stop? Therapist Leah Naor opened Ronit Farm's healing space the day after the Hamas massacre. It is run and staffed completely by volunteers. So the next morning, we opened the first Merchav Marpe healing space, which is an innovative, um, integrative model for treating people in acute trauma so that they will not develop PTSD. And that is the main goal of this of this space and this setting, we have had already more than 2,000 youth come here that say that through being here, it's the first time they could sleep, it's the first time they could eat, it's the first time they could open up and speak about what happened. Naor says it's important that people choose their own therapies, including a variety of conventional and alternative methods. When they come here, they decide if they're going to go see the therapist or they're going to go first for reflexology, if they want to play ball or just sit with their friends and play guitar. And in that way, they are taking responsibility for their healing. Or Gerda says he has come to Ronit Farm for a second straight day because he needs to talk about the music festival massacre. Full. Three, four hours, I just ran for my life, and I saw some terrible picture that never gonna come out. And uh, until this day, I'm the picture is still in my head. And, and when I'm going to sleep, when I wake up in the morning, I'm seeing some, I'm seeing some terrible stuff that happened there. Now, Or says that even those Israelis who weren't at the festival have been collectively traumatized by the events of that day. But those who saw the horrors firsthand will especially take a long time to heal. Linda Gradstein, VOA News, Ronit Farm, Israel.